It is our second installment of Midweek Music Maelstrom, and we have Destined for Failure. So you are Taylor Vecchioli. Did I say that right? Yeah, actually. Okay, awesome. So I, I got in touch with you about, you know, being on Midweek Music, and you seemed really excited about it. And then I went and I checked out Destined for Failure, and I'm really loving, like, that style metal. So can you tell me a little bit about how Destined for Failure got started? Um, it actually got started when uh, an old band that I was in broke up. Um, and basically that band wasn't really my band. Um, I was just, you know, making like lyric. Uh, they would write their lyrics and I would just sing for them. So uh, with this one, I definitely wanted to be more in control, I guess, <laughs> have a little bit more involvement with it. Uh, it started out as a single piece and then uh, it went to five. And then after we did the EP, we broke up, unfortunately. So I just kind of hired people to go and play live uh, shows with. <laughs> um, but recently, I've just been sticking to like producers and stuff until I can get a, you know, a band to, uh, to play live shows. OK, so how long have you been performing? Uh, God, uh, me since high school, I've been playing shows. So like my whole life. <laughs> um most it's been about three years with this new band that i have destined for failure um it's been pretty much jumping different bands and starting different ideas over the course of a decade <laughs> okay so what made you decide that what destined for failure has now is your sound since you know you've done other other music um yeah that's, that's true um Basically, from my past stuff, it has helped me evolve to figure out which direction I want the music to go in, uh, genre-wise. Uh, whether that be, you know, different screams, all that fun stuff, different guitars. Um, sorry. Uh, but, um, I don't know, it's kind of helped guide me to figure out what sound I want to capture in every different song and album. And to help me with the new one that's going to be coming out soon. <laughs> Awesome. So if I want to tell people where to find your music, where can I send them? Uh, it's I go through DistroKid, so it's everywhere. Literally iTunes, Spotify, YouTube. Um, most of my covers are on YouTube as well since being bored of COVID. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's pretty much everywhere if anyone wants to look it up. So you're no stranger to live shows? No, not at all. So what is the coolest thing that ever happened to you or the weirdest thing that ever happened to you at a live show? Uh, let me think. The weirdest thing that happened uh, was actually the band that played before me jumped up on stage and grabbed me and we both jumped into the crowd. It was pretty fun. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't expecting it at all, but uh, he had the perfect timing to do so as well. So uh, the crowd loved it and it was so much fun. Um, I struggled to get back up. <laughs> but it was it was so much fun i think that was an that's Atlanta. a good thing right yeah <laughs> uh, so how yeah. had covid impacted the way you make your music um it, it has actually affected it a bit like um put towards a different I guess kind of screaming singing that I do because of all the COVIDs, uh, the, all the covers I've done over COVID. Um, it's my music style has kind of changed a little bit, so it has influenced uh, me a lot. And uh, I had a lot of time on my hands to try to think about new ideas and music. So, and I'm constantly. I think we all did. <laughs> yeah, we, yeah, we did. And like, you know, still had like a nine to five job at the time, but not getting that close. So what are some musical influences that have kind of given you more direction with Destined for Failure? Um, a lot. There's a lot of new like music and bands that have been coming out uh, since the COVID thing kind of started dying down. I've been hearing a lot of, uh, I guess, more modern ties uh, put into the genre that I'm in. So I'm definitely looking forward to like putting different kind of sounds and stuff that people wouldn't normally hear and like say for like a metal or hard rock you know adding like maybe trap beats or something just change it up a little bit you know 
So are there any musical artists that kind of influenced you that are just like, like, are there any artists that you enjoy that are a totally different genre from what you put out? Um, yeah, a lot, <laughs> um, whether it be like rap or something. Um, I mean, like, I guess for like a melancholy kind of like vibe, I would listen to like Juice World or something to definitely get in my field and try to write something you know, a lot more in the fields. That way you have like a softer song. So definitely other things like that influence it. Wow. So that that definitely is different from what I've heard on your Spotify. I like it. But yeah, hopefully yeah. it's something fresh. That way I'm not just putting out the same kind of song if it sounds like the same. Um, yeah, I'm trying to avoid that. <laughs> is there any sort of routine that you have like when you're getting ready to write a song? Uh, yeah, um, it's weird. Most people need like another like other music or something to like really uh, get them going. So like maybe it'll be like a song that I just heard and like the beat was going along and I could think of like um, say like a verse and bring something out of that and then put it onto the keyboards and MIDI track and then eventually evolve a, an entire different song just from that one verse or trap beat. You know, uh, I mean the sky's the limit for thinking about that stuff like that. <laughs> So when you didn't have really any band members and you had to hire people to play shows, like how how do you go about determining who's a good fit? Oh, uh, so basically I would send like tabs and stuff over and, um, you know, if they could play it, they could play it. Cool. I'll pay them for however many shows we need to play. Um, and it was hard because I was hoping to find like, you know, set people that would just like kind of travel with me and then be in the band later on. But uh, I guess most of the people just kind of want their like five seconds of fame to play and then, you know, kind of be done with it. <laughs> oh, wow. So you what are the new plans going forward for Destined for Failure? Um, so the new new plans, definitely uh, changing a lot of artwork and stuff, uh, trying to re refresh and rebrand the image a little bit um my image is just a rose and i love it but i feel like it's kind of gotten stale being the only like kind of influence of my band out there so um i'm actually working with um uh my guitarist well producer kind of guy <laughs> he's in a band corpus with his wife and they're helping me right now with artwork and uh other music and finding you know live people as well <laughs> wow so you're just you're going like full steam ahead, rebranding, getting your stuff out there. So is there any new stuff that we can expect in the future? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I got a couple singles that are going to be coming out. Um, just trying to figure out which order I want to send them. And then um, once I put it on DistroKid, it'll be everywhere. So <laughs> are there any music videos or any live performances that people could find online? Uh, most aside from the ones that I already have, uh, not yet, but um, hopefully I will be getting um, in touch with some photographers and stuff to make some in the future. All right, so you're definitely going to need to keep us posted on where we can go see you in the future. So if you have any events or anything like that going on, link them to me and I'll make sure people know about them. Yeah, absolutely. Um, hoping in the future, uh, Ebor mostly. Um, okay. So that's pretty that's cool. That's like a stone's throw from me. Exactly. So you know where to find me. <laughs> Oh my God, this was great. So maybe we could have you on again for midweek music maelstrom next time you've got a show or something for people to know about. Thank you so much for your, your time and your interest. No, thank you. I, I enjoyed being here. Great. Right. So everyone, you're going to want to stay tuned for another installment of midweek music maelstrom. This has been Taylor Vecchioli of Destined for Failure. I'm going to have links for you in the description and go follow the Cribnotic page to find out more new music. See you next time.